Welcome on board guys. Today I am going to show you my Zumba dance. Sorry, I am kidding. I am going to show you cargo control room of the ship from where we do loading and discharging. Let's go. Behind me is the cargo control room, one of the most important rooms on board. Weather is not bad. Cargo control room has two huge windows to look outside what's happening. Makes life of duty officer and chief officer very easy. Before starting, let's have a look all around CCR. As soon as we enter CCR on the left, this is tank monitoring system. It gives us all the temperature, LHAs, pressure of tank, all the data from the sensor come into this panel. This panel is connected via computer which is called loading computer right there and we get all those data on that computer together for all the tanks. Next we have tank overfill and high level alarms. These are independent systems. They give us alarms at 95% and 98% for all the cargo tanks. And this alarm rings loudly on deck as well as in CCR. Very important to keep this panel on before any loading or discharging operations because this is the one which is gonna save you from overflowing any tanks. Indicators, general alarm for the refrigeration and hospital alarm. You'll always find lots of posters in CCR because these are required to be displayed for information to be readily available. One of these here shows how to run these cargo pumps, how to load, purging, etc, etc and pump curves, what is the performance, what is the maximum rates, etc, etc is always posted in any cargo control room. This board, my friends, very important because Chief also leaves all the important instructions here so they are always visible for duty officer and it makes their life easy to follow them. Now here I have the pumping system. This panel has all the pump controls along with the driving force for the pump which is power pack. We have four power packs. Two of them work on diesel and two are electric. And these are the feed pumps which keeps these hydraulic lines pressurized all the time. We can monitor the hydraulic oil temperature here, feed pump pressure and system pressure. Maximum we can go up to 250 bars. Emergency stop very important. It will trip all these hydraulic power packs in a case of emergency. This emergency switch is also located at manifolds as well as in the Framo power pack room in engine room. Right here you can see lots of levers. Each lever is for one tank. I have in each tank one pump installed. Deep well pumps. I have shown them in one of my videos in cargo tank, you can go and watch that. So all duty officer need to do is press this button, it will switch on the power for that particular pump and whatever RPM or whatever pressure you want, you have to increase this lever accordingly. 100, 120 will be about 50%, to 40 will be about 100%. Each pump can be set at different pressure and different RPM, different capacities depending upon what we need. But if few pumps are in the same system, that means if these tanks are connected on the deck via common line, then it is beneficial to keep them at same pressure. Otherwise, one of the tank which is on the lower pressure may start filling back cargo instead of discharging. We have valve controls on this computer. We have two computers for valve control. We have two pumps which give hydraulic pressure to all the valve controls. So all duty officer need to do is use this mouse and keyboard and we can just go to any of the valves, select it and we can press open and shut here. 
and the valve will actually open on the deck because these are hydraulically operated valves this one is just the repeater of this very important panel this one is oil discharge monitoring equipment we can discharge wash water via ODME there are some requirements in Annex 1 Marpol if you guys know what I'm talking about then if we fulfill that requirements out at sea when we are more than 50 nautical mile outside Annex 1 special area we can discharge wash water but it has to go through this ODME this here is a VHF this is a repeater from the bridge so when duty officers are keeping watch and if terminal requires or port requires us to keep watch on a particular channel they can do that here this is just an intercom internal phone i have already talked to you about this this computer gives us data coming from this this panel which has sensors connected for pressure temperature and alleges of all the tanks so that data for all tanks together can be seen on this panel for cargo tanks ballast tanks fuel oil tanks for many other tank right now this screen is for ballast tank this is for all the other tanks if you want to see all tanks together it looks something like this let's leave it on cargo tank. this here is an online loadicator this gives us all the stability alleges from alleges and temperatures from this computer automatically this is also connected to that panel and we have online reading during cargo operation alleges and temperatures of a cargo tank or ballast tank anything will it will keep changing so this when in online mode updates automatically so at any given point duty officer has the ship's entire stability including draft displacement dead weight and stresses that is shear forces and bending moments right now we can see the panel for cargo tank as well as fuel oil tank you want to see ballast tank just go and select ballast tank now i have on top cargo tanks here i have ballast tanks so depending upon the need you can use it in many different ways gas meters are always kept charged in ccr you never know when you are going to need them ideally when you are going on deck going in tank you're supposed to carry them so they will warn you for any harmful gases lots of batteries and radios and charger for obvious reasons this here is a separate air conditioning system given for ccr next to that is inert gas system when we carry gasoline diesel oil etc etc we are supposed to have a safe atmosphere above the cargo tank that is achieved by inert gas inert gas generators supply you a gas which has about 5% oxygen content by the time it goes inside the tank we are always supposed to keep at least less than 8% when you cross 11% oxygen that is the time when you will cross the flammable range but safety margin for 3% is given and we are supposed to have at least less than 8% oxygen content in any of the tank next to CCR is the ship's office right now i have fourth engineer taking making some xerox you will find all the files related to chief officer here in ship's office and his two computers one is for the duty officer one is for the chief officer you will also find a fridge where we keep soft drinks and water for people who come during loading discharging from outside right now it's empty because we are out at sea and you have sofa with this video i hope you guys got some idea about a cargo control room of a tanker one voyage happy sailing and jai hind guys thanks for watching see you on the next one